Friends, 90% people don't know that power capacitor we use, how to check this type of power capacitor that it is working properly or it is faulty. This power capacitor I have, we use this type of capacitor for correction of power factor. You have two options to check this type of power capacitor. First option is to measure capacitance value of this capacitor. To measure capacitance value, you will get an option in multimeter, but it is not available in all the multimeter. This multimeter I have, in this, there is no option to check capacitor. So this capacitor I have, I can't check this through multimeter right now. After this, second option is to use clamp meter. And through clamp meter, measure the current value and check it whether this capacitor is okay or not. How to check this? Let's understand. To check this capacitor, first of all you should know that what is written in data plate of capacitor. I mean you must know the rating and other details of capacitor. As you can see in this capacitor, here it is written 400 volt and in front of this 10 kVAR is written. It means when we provide 400 volt power supply to this capacitor, then in this condition, capacitance value of this capacitor will be 10 kVAR. After this, if you provide 415 volt to capacitor, then in this condition, capacitance value will be 10.6 kVAR. Along with this, if you provide 440 volt power supply to this capacitor, then in this condition, capacitance value of this capacitor will be 12.10 kVAR. It means if we provide more voltage to capacitor, then capacitance value of this capacitor will increase. So this capacitor I have, this is designed for 10 kVAR. It means if we provide 400 volt power supply to this, I am writing here 400 volt. So here I written 400 volt. It means if we provide 400 volt power supply to this capacitor, then in this condition, value of this capacitor will become 10 kVAR. After this, you have to see what is the current rating of this capacitor. Here it is written IN 14.43 Ampere. I am writing here 14.43 Ampere. It means if we apply 400 volt in this, then in this condition, current rating of this will be 14.43 Ampere. Now if you apply more voltage than this, then current rating may shift little bit. So you have to understand if voltage is high, then in this condition, current will become low. But if you apply low voltage, then current rating will increase. After this, capacitor we have, to check this capacitor, we have to provide three phase power supply to this. To provide three phase power supply, there are three terminals. On these three terminals, R, Y, B, all the three phase we have to connect. So on these three terminals, I am connecting three phase power supply. After this, we will check this. Okay, to provide power supply to this capacitor, I used a MCB here. Through this MCB, I connected three phase power supply with this capacitor. You can see R, Y, B, all the three phase are connected here. Now we have to check this. Before checking this, you have to measure voltage here that how much voltage is available here. For this, I am using a clamp meter here. I selected AC voltage in this clamp meter. Now take both the probes of this clamp meter and connect this with incoming terminals of MCB. After connecting here, you can see we are getting voltage here as 430 volts. Right now I am checking voltage between Y and B phase. Now I am going to check voltage between R and B phase. You can see here also we are getting 430 volt approx. It means right now I have 430 volt voltage. As I told you if we provide 400 volt then in this condition value of capacitor will be 10 kVAR. Now here we are providing 430 volt so in this condition value of capacitance will increase. Along with this current rating also this current rating this may go little high or little low. Let's check this. What we have to do, take a clamp meter and select ampere position in this. I selected AC ampere position. After selecting this, what I will do, connect this with B phase. So I connected this clamp meter with the B phase. Power supply is off right now. I am turning on power supply from MCB. After turning on power supply from MCB, you can see here 14.8 ampere value we are getting. So I am writing here in B phase power supply, we are getting 14.7 ampere current. Now I will check current in another phase. I am connecting clamp meter with Y phase. Here you can see we are getting 14.6 ampere current. So I am writing here 14.6 ampere. Now I will connect this clamp meter with R phase. 
in our phase core we are getting current as 14.8 ampere so i'm writing here 14.8 as you saw in our phase we got 14.8 ampere current in y phase we got 14.6 ampere and in b phase we got 14.7 ampere now on this capacitor it was written 14.43 ampere this current rating was for 400 volts but we were applying 430 volts in this condition we are getting current as 14.8 ampere 14.6 14.7 these current rating values we are getting now you can see current rating here this is balanced i mean almost balanced in this condition we can say this capacitor i have this capacitor is okay now here current we measured in this if we will get 14.8 ampere in our phase in y phase suppose we will get 12.7 ampere and along with this in b phase if we get 10.7 ampere now here you can see whole current rating is unbalanced in this condition our capacitor will be considered faulty we can't use faulty capacitor we have to change faulty capacitor similarly if you got current rating here as 14.1 ampere here 13.7 ampere and here if you got 14.5 ampere if you will get current rating in this way then in this condition you have to be careful regarding one thing here highest current rating you got that is 14.5 ampere you have to look at percentage of this that others are how much percentage less than this if from this rating they are 5% less then we will call it as minor current rating if current unbalanced here is only up to 5% then in this condition your capacitor is in okay condition that is you can use this capacitor but this highest current rating here if from this rating others are very less i mean they are unbalanced up to 10% then in this condition they comes under major in major condition we try to change this capacitor if immediately capacitor is available then change this capacitor if then and there capacitor is not available then you can change this after some time it means for some time you can use this capacitor so you can say it is okay but after some days you need to change this capacitor after this this current rating here is highly unbalanced if more than 10% unbalancing is there in this condition current unbalancing goes in critical condition it means we cannot use this capacitor we have to change this we can also say that this capacitor is not okay so we have to change capacitor in this condition after this when you measure current rating of this capacitor then you will get one more condition in that condition what will happen suppose in our phase you got 10 ampere current in y phase also you got 10 ampere current and in b phase also you got 10 ampere current it means current rating is below rated current 4 ampere less current we are getting here but all the current rating are balanced so what we can say about this so look if current rating is less and all are balanced then in this condition our capacitor is in okay condition but capacitance value of this capacitor like i told you this capacitor i have this capacitor is of 10 kvar so in this capacitor if we are getting current rating here as 10 ampere then capacitance value of this capacitor will decrease that is in place of 10 kvar maybe the value of capacitor now is 7 kvar or it may became 8 kvr from original capacitance value it is decreased so friends this capacitor here just now through a clamp meter we checked this capacitor whether it is okay or not you can also check this capacitor through a multimeter right now i don't have that type of multimeter through which i can check this when i have that type of multimeter then again i will make a video in which i will explain how through a multimeter we can check a capacitor Friends, if you learned something new from this video, then please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.